guys. No, just kidding. It's an Nokia phone. Um, today is finally a day that I think I'll be able to publish a video. And uh, I'll just give you a really, really short recap of what has happened so far. It's a beautiful morning and I'm really tired. My ears are freezing. <laughs> Uh, today, I have a uh, Mary over here. <laughs> She's supposed to do a couple of a couple of ration, collaboration with me, and uh, I will do a test with her. Uh, I'll test if she's able to move to Denmark. Can you come over here? She was planning on going to Denmark to study. And I have a few questions that will test if she's able to become a part of the amazing Danish society. I'll be asking Mary about 20 questions and I'm sure some of them will delete because they won't be interesting enough for the video. Okay, a little disclaimer before we start. I haven't done much research for the questions, so all of them are based on my own knowledge. So if I'm wrong, please excuse me. Which phrase, according... <laughs> Don't look at me like this. Which phrase, according to the legend, can get you through the passport control in the airport? Red porridge with whipped cream. Up on the top of the green tree. Tripod fence cap. Ever happy ladybug. Walking on a rhubarb leaf. Um. In Danish, they sound like this. The first one is Hold Kolm the Flu. The second one is Hold Putz Fels Koine Top. Very helpful. And the third one is The Tiefste Kit Kaskit. And the fourth one is Marie Höne. And the fourth one is Marie Höne Ewig Lel Kit Tour Poet Rhubarb Um, I think it's number three. The Tiefste Kit Kaskit? Yeah. No. <laughs> It's whole colma fill, which means red porridge with whipped cream. Do you know why? No. <laughs> because it's difficult to pronounce. It has the U sound. The U. Which country does Denmark hate the most? Sweden, Norway, Germany, or the UK? Where will it? Whoops. Um, let's say UK? Nope. Why? Sweden. Why? Because a few hundred years ago, Sweden decided to be its own country. I think it was in the 15th century. Okay. So. Fun fact. <laughs> Fabulous plan. In the old days, Danish people were allowed to hit Swedish people with a stick on the head. It was a law. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say, I study art in Danish? Translated literally. I read art. I study art. I investigate art, I explore <clears throat> art. Um, I explore art? Nope. I read art. No. Of course you read art. <laughs> yeah, sure I do. I read biology and <laughs> people read... Stuff. Stuff. How long did it take for Nazis to take over uh, Denmark in the Second World War? One second. <laughs> Several hours, six days, Two months. Denmark was neutral, just like Sweden. Germany didn't invade it. Mm, it was neutral. No, several hours. Uh, I guessed it before. If you translate literally from Danish, I'm on the toilet. No. You'll get. <clears throat> I'm on the toilet. I'm in the toilet. I'm toilet. I'm over the toilet. I'm told it. No. Nope. <coughs> I'm on the toilet. <laughs> How much does the average higher education cost in Denmark? What currency do you want it in? <laughs> Rubles, krona, Danish pounds? Um, pounds. Fifteen and a half thousand pounds. Three thousand one hundred fifty pounds. Zero pounds. <laughs> Minus 450 pounds. 
Oh, so, and then B minus. So, when you go to uni, you get paid. Oh. Um, I don't know. Maybe zero. Minus it's 450. Great. Oh my goodness. You get paid. <laughs> okay, maybe I should move to Denmark. Which profession do you not need to get an extra education for? A pet store worker, a painter, as in painting walls, mm -hmm. a construction worker, a grocery store worker. Um, a painter? Nope, grocery store worker. Why? Because you need, you need to study for several years to know how to paint a wall in Denmark, otherwise you're not qualified and you're not allowed to work. <coughs> Denmark is one of the most expensive countries in Scandinavia. However, which country comes to Denmark being... I just spit. <laughs> However, which Scandinavian country is, da is Danish of the jealous prices? <laughs> <laughs> However, jealous. which Scandinavian country is jealous of the Danish prices? Sweden. Finland, Sweden, Norway, Iceland. Norway. Yay! I'm not advanced enough to add like falling confetti in <laughs> Final Cut Pro. Christiania is a free state in Copenhagen. It's a tiny place where you're allowed to do many things you're not allowed to do in Denmark and it's for people who seek an alternative lifestyle. Which one of these things is not illegal in Christiania? Running, faking dead, <laughs> um, using weapons and Taking photos. Faking dead. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Which one of these things can you not get fined for in Denmark while biking? Biking with very weak lights on your bike. Biking on a road not specialized for bikes. Biking with two people on a bike. For two people, not a tandem bike. And biking while drunk. Last one. Yes, you can get fined. Yay! You got it wrong. No. Uh, oh. You can you can bike anywhere you want, and um, the right answer is B. Danish people love their electronics, and they love their Lenovo computers, and which brand of phones? Samsung, Apple, Sony, Bang & Olufsen. Danish company. I can't pronounce the last one, so I guess it's the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Helicopter. This is the word my dad knows. He doesn't speak English, but he knows the word helicopter. Because it sounds nice. They love Apple phones. Not Bang & Olufsen. Bang & Olufsen doesn't make phones. <laughs> Where to is it not common for Danish people to bike? To work in their work clothes? To a party in dresses and high heels? Biking to a beach in a swimsuit? Biking to a friend across the bridge to Sweden? The bridge is eight kilometers, I think. High heels? It's common for them to bike in high heels. Nobody bikes. I don't know anyone who bikes to Sweden. Oh, well, I would bike to Sweden. I can bike, but I can try. You can take the train. The Danish grocery store, Netto24, is one of the few grocery stores in all of Denmark that is open 24-7 until 2 a.m. and opens at 6 a.m. until 12 until 10 p.m. 12 p.m. a.m. I mean, yeah, I think. Um, until 10? No, until 12. Uh, stupid people, they don't know how to sell. Which one of these traditional Danish foods did I make up? Roasted pork... Roasted pork skin, dry crumbs of rye bread in some kind of sour milk, Red porridge with cream, baked potatoes wrapped in bacon with petrushka. Petrushka? <laughs> with petrushka? Baked potatoes wrapped in bacon with parsley. Which one of these did I make up? Last one. Yes. It sounds too good. To yes. Be true. yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. No. You're right. Everywhere in the world. That's such a YouTuber thing to do. <laughs> Everywhere in the world, the Danish pastry is called Danish, except Denmark. What is it called in Denmark? What is it called in Danish? I mean... <laughs> is it called Swiss pastry? Berliners? From Berlin. Mm -hmm. French pastry? Viennese pastry? From Vienna. 
It doesn't make any sense, but let's try the Swiss one. Swiss. <laughs> No, Swiss it's, food. <laughs> it's Viennese. It's called Wienerbrot, which literally means Viennese bread. Okay. The Danish alphabet has three extra letters in their alphabet. You have to look at my screen because I, I'm going to show them here on the screen as well. A, E, B, U, C, U, D, O, E, U, U, O. First one. E doesn't exist in Danish? Yeah. Is that your final answer? Yeah. No, E doesn't exist. I don't even know where it's from. I think it's Turkish. Last easy question. Last but not the least. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they say. Which one of these is not Danish? Lego. I know. Hans Christian Andersen. Red Bull. Carlsberg. Red Bull. Yay, I don't even know where it's from. Final verdict. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you be Danish? We should forgot to record, of course. We should have done the video in Russian. Russian. Three out of seventeen. Three out of seventeen. I guess I can survive there. Now, no? <clears throat> you hold this tiny frame, and I'm gonna refer people over to your channel because she makes amazing videos, and she's my very, 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 very good friend, and you should definitely click here. And thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> I hate it when people do that on YouTube. <laughs>